who is mj my name wasn't always mj mj is just like my um i call it my my stage persona this girl this is <laughs> this is michael mikhail whatever you want to call me my real name is actually mikhail Soli, my name is mikhail ne? Mm, place the first Soli. <laughs> but some people also call me michael uh but that's not that's just a lazy name but my real name is mikhail uh mikhail is born and bred in the northern cape not a small town anymore on the banks of the orange river that's where i grew up my father mother like colored guys and that's why you can hear this beautiful zaga zaga this beautiful accent i know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep on speaking i i matriculated in uppington i went to school in uppington northern cape next to kimberley not directly next to kimberley it's, it's actually um a four hour drive to kimberley yes mj the mj that grew actually up in the mj that grew up in in uppington is actually a different version of what i am now so i'm just gonna take you back to um when i was basically growing up hmm. i was very reserved i know it doesn't look like that now but i was i was a little bit reserved i was unsure about myself i was always different and i think it comes back to the to the being weird vibe i not I. I have a brother, I have a sister, I have an Omar. Currently, I have, I don't have a mother and a father anymore. My mother and father passed away in car accidents. Not the same time, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not, not at the same time. <laughs> uh, my father passed away when I was 17, my mother in 2018. Yes. It's very small family, mother's a nurse, my father, no one knows. My father, no, not a lot of people know my father. I mean, like in Joburg. Uh, my father was actually a truck driver, a truck driver, he was driving trucks. My mother at that stage, she started off being a cleaner at a hospital and then someone saw potential in her and then she started to be like an auxiliary nurse, like to clean the instruments and like assist the doctors, the nurses and all of those other people. Uh, went to school, Franciscus Law School, primary school. Uh, and then I went to high school. I was still quiet, but I was, I was passionate about dancing, and that's when I started doing ballroom from Sub B. What's Sub B again? Sub B is grade two. I started doing ballroom, and I started. Oh, the wind! Oh, my lashes. <laughs> I started. I started doing ballroom and uh, ballet as well. My lashes. I started doing a uh, ballroom as well. Let's, let's give the wind a little time to play along with us. Mm. Okay. I must play along with us. You're already dark. <laughs> and you're not wearing sunscreen. That's why you have those spots. Yeah, you're supposed to wear sunscreen every yeah, single day. But the thing is, you have to. Because how are you going to protect your skin? from the UV rays with sunlight tip near man with sunlight tip and people normally say oh it's so expensive I can't afford it <laughs> what things ah <laughs> oh, uh, that's not sunscreen that's something else I don't even know what that is can I continue ah uh, where did I stop where did I stop last school and no I have I started at Furitzach first, sorry. <laughs> Furitzach was, Furitzach is in Morning Glory. I was still staying with my grandmother, mommy. I was still staying with my grandmother and not a lot of people actually know this. Besides, I think my mother. Hi, Mike. Where are you going? Really, nigga? What? <laughs> not a lot of people actually know this, but I was actually out back two years. I had... I had, but I think it was, I think it was dyslexia, but obviously I, I think our parents didn't know these things way back. So they just thought like, ah, he just needs one more year, then he will be fine. But I actually had dyslexia, I had a learning problem. I couldn't focus for long, long periods of time. And 
that is why I that is why I became that's why I was always a hard worker you know in the sense because people always thought like ah he's clever he can do all of these things but I had to work double as hard I had to study if you studied for two hours I had to the aeroplane I actually started at Poretsag. Um, Poretsag is a primary school. I grew up with my grandmother. That's why I'm kind of spoiled in a way. And um, spoiled in the sense of I don't like cooking, I don't like cleaning, I don't like being domesticated. But I can do those things. I can do those things. I want to be a Makoti one day. <sighs> no, husband me up. Husband. Husband. I'm not joking, bitch. Is is this bitch for real? And I grew up in Afin. I I grew I grew up in in Morning Glory, when I where I went to school, and I was actually out back, and for two years, for two years, yes, because I had difficulty learning, and I think because it wasn't diagnosed at the time, I think my personal opinion is I think I had dyslexia, and afterwards I always knew that I had to learn extra hard. Everything I do was. I had to work extra hard to get the same results <laughs> or maybe just a little bit better you know i was i was never like like naturally clever or whatever um when i was growing up then i went to Forita, uh, then i went to um, franciscus i stayed with my mother and my father at the time and i started doing ball, ballroom classes ballet classes uh and then i went to high school and i matriculated at carlton Van Yerden. In Uppington, hello. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so you say you were, you were all back two years? Yes, I was. So, in grade two? Uh, I think it was a B. Before I went to grade. Standard Ian. Before I went to Standard Ian. Grade five, I think. Standard <laughs> one. one, I think so, yeah. So you say you made two, three. It's a B, yeah. I know. Yeah. So you can actually up grow next Like I said, I, I'm not a, a doctor or a therapist, so I don't know if it was actually dyslexia. But the, looking back at all the symptoms and all the stuff that I had to go through, I think it actually was, was, was dyslexia. Because um, I had difficulty learning and focusing, or maybe ADHD. Because mm-hmm. uh, I had difficulty learning and focusing, and but I wasn't a naughty child. I was just quiet. Mm-hmm. I was just quiet, and um, I think. And then when the bullying also started, because um, I wasn't like a normal child. Mm-hmm. I played with dolls. Who didn't play with dolls? Didn't you play with dolls? But did you? Nigga, say- no! <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall. Um, so yeah, so that also was like on top of it. So I was very quiet and reserved, extremely. Uh, still growing up, I would say primary school and high school. Um, this is not like to, I want to position it in a way to, to basically still maintain my mother's legacy because I'm going to say something but it's going to sound funny but it's not because me being the age that I'm now I actually understand the stuff that they did I understand why she did what she did yeah so my mother wasn't she was always like boys do this girls do this and I didn't understand I'm like but I like playing with for example with dolls and I don't like doing certain things so she was always the hard one I would I would say the hard one the one that's always like don't do this don't do this but when I look back it was actually perfection for growing up because she didn't want me to go through a lot of um, heartache uh, bullying and feeling like I'm not worth it I, I, I mean like every parent wants his child to prosper in life and not be held back because of a birth deficiency or like because I feel like I not feel like I know I was born like this and so my mother was always like very hard on me. My father was the soft one. Ah, oh, 
daddy's little girl <laughs> he used to drop us off at school and we used to kiss him and when we went to high school my brother and i uh i still took my brother's kisses because he didn't want kisses anymore my father was normally the one that used to polish my belly shoes because those days you could only get belly shoes in in, in the color pink so when i used to do exams or for for for, for production belly pro- excuse me for belly production he used to like like use the liquid polish to paint them another color he was the one going for my costume when i had to do costumes for lead and i was in a lead and i was in snow white belly production he used to make the cost not make the costumes he used to like go with me for measurements and all, and do all of those those small things you know brother and sister my i have a middle brother i have a middle brother and i have a sister uh my brother is a teacher and my sister is she's she's in the community she does a lot of community work um she works for i don't know the like the full name i just forgot it now but it's basically to it's basically people that must use alcohol and drug abuse so she goes out into the community and helps those people yeah she goes out into those small communities around up the uplington northern cape area and services those people so in general i would say um family wise i was always the i always had like a certain narrative because i was the eldest in the family and i never wanted to disappoint my mother my brother my sister um, my mother brother sister and father so i always used to get good grades i always used to uh yeah good grades not getting to trouble i wasn't even how can i put this i didn't even draw someone <laughs> i i didn't even i didn't even draw someone on high school cuz who was i going to draw cuz i don't even know myself yet i didn't even because it's it's a taboo you're not supposed to do that well, like, you're to from doing it because you didn't know where your i knew exactly where my preference was because you already you already being bullied for being gay yeah. so now when someone finds out that you actually have a boyfriend or you 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 have a boyfriend and yeah it's just going to escalate to a different level so i just kept everything under it uh because my mother was also in church and it was she was people knew her from the hospital cuz she's a nurse everyone knew her she was that friendly nurse So I love a life of pushing myself down my feelings my 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 basically what I was going through I was in pilot mode thinking about it now and then I went to varsity <laughs> <laughs>